This week in Sunday Homeschool, we'll be learning about a trap and a release as we study Daniel. Helping us out are Marty with the opening devotion, Inga leading the song, I've Got Peace Like a River, and Max showing us our live activity example. Show us your bare face! Grrr. I'm here with Marty and we are going to make our very best scary bear that we can. So we've got lots of space. I think we need a big head. Alright. Let's see. I think we should complete his head. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. Alright. Um, what else? He'll need some ears. Mm-hmm. And uh, a big mouth, like a big, big mouth. As big as we can make it. Nice, big scary teeth. Uh, what else is missing? Eyes. Eyes, we need eyes. Nice, nice. And uh, nose? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. That is a big, scary bear face. This big, scary bear is just make-believe. However, there is something that isn't make-believe, and this scary bear is going to help us learn about it. Sometimes the world tells us lies. The world says, there is no God. Or sometimes the world might say, you don't have to listen to your parents. Or the world might say, going to church is a waste of time. Or the world might even say, Jesus didn't die on the cross for our sins. All of these lies can be scary. The world is scary. The world can be like a big scary bear with big teeth. Sometimes it's easy to think that the world is right and God is wrong. We might think maybe God isn't real. Maybe it's okay to not listen to mom and dad. Maybe church is just a waste of time. Or maybe Jesus didn't actually die on the cross. How do we know that these things are lies? That's right, the Bible. God's holy word. In the Bible, God tells us how he is real. He tells us how we should live our lives and live them for him. The lies of this world can be pretty scary, like this bear that Marty drew. It's a pretty good bear. We're going to learn about Daniel, who had to face a scary beast of his own. Do you remember what Daniel had to hang out with? Lions. Lions. So you're going to learn more about a big scary beast and how God overcame the lies of this world and the actual beasts in his word. Will you join me in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we are tempted to believe the lies of the world and to ignore your world, the Bible. Encourage us to trust you. Thank you for the best truth of all. Forgiveness in Jesus. Amen. Today for a music, we are going to sing the song, Peace Like a River, which I'm pretty sure we've sung before, right Inga? Yep. All right, but we're gonna review the actions really quick so you know at home. The first action is, I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. And soul, we can cover our hearts, or the soul is also the bottom of your shoe. So if you're feeling flexible, you can point to your shoe for soul as well. Now the second verse will be, I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. And then the third verse is, I've got joy like a fountain. But if you're feeling like you need to burn some energy or get in a really good workout, you can leap for your fountain like this. Ta-da! <laughs>
Inga will do a much better fountain than me, I promise. And then for the last verse, we combine all of them. So we sing, I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. It goes pretty fast, so just do the best you can. Ready? Here we go. I'm here with Max and we are going to show you our live activity for the week which involves Play-Doh. Play-Doh. So we are going to be working on the Play-Doh fears. So Max, what's something you're afraid of? Uh, well, one is a lion. Ooh. Well this week is about Daniel and the lions, so that's a, that's a pretty relevant fear this week. Yep. You know what I'm afraid of? Parasites. Like wood ticks and ooh, just the, they give me the heebie-jeebies. So we are going to try to make our fears out of Play-Doh. What do you think? Okay. You can try to make a lion? Yep. Alright, you try to make a lion, I'll try to make a wood tick, and we'll see how it goes, huh? Yeah, okay. Alright. I think your lion turned out pretty good, Max. That's a pretty good lion face. I'm still trying to work on it. Alright. And, uh, my wood tick kind of looks like a spider, but that's okay, because I don't really like spiders either. So, Max, do you want to share our, our take-home point for this activity? You can read all the bold letters. Of us, the things we are afraid of God, God's people in the Bible had scary things happen to them too, but God is powerful more anything we are scared of. He helps us when we are afraid. Hopefully we don't run into any lions. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I'll probably run into a few wood ticks. But, as a reminder that God is with us even when we are afraid, He smashes our fears and takes care of us all the time. So we're going to smash our fears. Ready? Yep. Uh, oh! Fears like... Oh.